Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you an operating system I've been playing with lately called Bodhi Linux. Bodhi Linux uses the Enlightenment desktop environment, which is fast, customizable, and has a very nice look to it, as you can see. And there are a minimal set of utilities included with the install, which includes a web browser, text editor, and a few other things. Of course, there are a lot of other tools available through the App Center, through the App Get command, or the Synaptic Package Manager. This gives you the freedom to choose what programs are installed and what programs are not installed on your system. And Bodhi follows the Ubuntu LTS release cycle for the core of the distribution. And updates are available to keep the operating system current. Now new distros of Bodhi are released every two years. So that means that you wouldn't have to reinstall the operating system for at least two years. Which is very nice. And as you can see I have Bodhi already loaded up in the virtual box here. But I'm going to show you real quick where to go to get it and how to download it. So I'm going to open a web browser. And in the search box, I'm going to type Bodhi, B-O-D-H-I, and then Linux. Next, I'm going to click on the Bodhi Linux link. When you get to the home page, here's your download choices here. You can download the 32-bit version, 64-bit version, or you can download Bodhi Linux for the ARMHF. And you could also make a donation if you'd like to. There's a video here that kind of gives you an idea of what Bodhi looks like. I'm going to go ahead and play just a few seconds of it. gives you a little idea of what it's going to look like and how easy it is to navigate through the system. So for my virtual machine, I'm going to download the 32-bit version. And then next I have three choices. I could download from the website, I could download a torrent, and I could check the MD5 sum. I'm going to click on download. It takes me to SourceForge. Next it's going to ask me what I want to do with the file. Do I want to save it or do I want to open it with a program? I want to open it with a program so I'm going to select open with and then I'm going to go to the drop down menu, select other, and then I'm going to select image burn and then click OK. If you don't know how to use image burn to burn an ISO to a disk, I do have a video on that. And then I'm going to click OK. And then like I said, once you have it downloaded, burn it to the disk and then you're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and close the web browser now. And now I'm going to close Bodhi Linux out and then restart so I can show you guys how to get started with Bodhi. When the system first starts up, you have your boot options. I'm going to leave it at live, boot the live system, and I'm going to hit enter. First we have to select our profile, our choices are bare, compositing, desktop, and fancy. And I'm going to leave mine on fancy and I'm going to click next. Here you get to select your theme, you have angelic, Egypt, Miguel, vision, you have the Bodhi theme and then the default setting which is blank. So I like the Egypt one, so I'm going to select the Egypt, and I'm going to click Next. And if you actually didn't want the gadget, you could right-click on it, and then you can click on Remove, and that removed the gadget. And I'm going to remove this one over here, too. So I'm going to right-click, go to Pager. I don't know if you guys can see this on the screen or not, but I'm going to click Remove, and it's gone. And if I wanted to add a gadget to the desktop, I would left click. And then I would go to desktop and then to change gadgets. Here I can select what gadget I want to add to the desktop. And then click on add gadget. And here's the clock again here. I'm going to go ahead and close out. And now I want my clock to be bigger, so I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to go to Begin Move Resize. 
Now I can resize. And I could also move it wherever I wanted to move it to. And I have to right click and it's set. You can do this with any gadget on the desktop. You can even do it to the shelf up here if I right click. Go to orientation. And then from there I can select where I want the gadget to be on the desktop. So right now if it's up at the top right corner, I want it at the bottom left corner. So I'm going to click right here at the bottom left. And there it is right there. So it's pretty easy to add, remove, or move gadgets around on the desktop. If I right click again, our choices in the main menu are applications. And in applications we have accessories, which gives the archive manager and leaf pad, which is basically notepad. We have preferences where you can access the system tools, login configuration, network connections, and the synaptic package manager. Under internet you have the Midori web browser. Under system tools you have enlightenment file manager and terminology. Under navigate you can go to your home directory, the desktop, your favorites, the root directory, and you can also get information about Boney Linux. You can take a screenshot under desktop, you can change gadgets, you can add a virtual desktop, you can add another shelf if you like, and you can show and hide all windows. Under windows, as you can see I have no windows right now, but you can clean up the windows. Under Boney Linux you have the about tab, you have quick start, here's where you would add software, and then you also have artwork, and if I clicked on artwork, Here I can download extra themes, wallpapers, conky, and Bodhi material. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Once again, I'm going to left click on the desktop. And under Enlightenment, you have the About tab again. You can have the About Theme tab. You can restart the computer or you can exit. Under setting, you have modes, which is presentation and offline. You can add and remove gadgets. You can add modules. You can add shelves. You can change the theme and the wallpaper. And then under system, you can lock the desktop. You can log out, suspend, hibernate, reboot, and power off. And that's about all there is to this. And again, the purpose of Bodhi is to allow us to customize the operating system to our needs. And that's why there's just a limited amount of programs installed right now. And if I wanted to install a program, I could either go to Application, Preferences, and then I could go to Synaptic Package Manager, or I could come down to Bodhi Linux and click on Add Software. And it first opens up to the Bodhi Linux homepage. If I clicked on the second tab here, this is the App Center, and this is where you can select different software to add to your system. As you can see, there's software bundles, software packages. Here's the software categories. And if there's something specific that you wanted, say like an image editor, you can click on it. And it'll give you some image editing programs to choose from. I like GIMP, so I'm going to click on GIMP. And this is how easy it is to install a program in Bodhi. You just simply click the Install Now button, and it'll begin installing very simple very user friendly the next it asks me if I'm sure I want to install the software and I'm going to click on install and it says the changes have been applied so I'm going to click close I'm going to go ahead and close out the web browser and as I've said before, you can also add, move, or remove a shelf. So if I were to right click on the desktop, I could go to settings, and then the shelves, and then here's where we can add a shelf. So I'm going to click add. It's going to ask me what to name the shelf. Sample. Click OK. Here's the new shelf over here. Now it's asking me what I want to add to that shelf. Just highlight it, then then click Add Gadget. 
to remove the gadget I could highlight it and click on remove gadget there's also advanced settings and then if I wanted to move my gadgets around I just right click on them click on begin moving gadgets so as you can see it's actually a pretty nice operating system very easy to navigate through allows you to install the software that you want on the system not what they think that you want on the system very good feel to it and of course you could either use the live CD or install it if you'd like and that's really all there is to this review I'm not going to get real deep into the operating system or else this video would take forever I just wanted you guys to be aware of this operating system and show you how nice and easy it is to use it's a very good operating system for beginners I think thank you for watching have a great day